is 5 a.m. 5.13 a.m. Put it so you can see it. What the... Five. I like this time. I like this one. Woof woof. Let's change our cat because I've got a cat right here. So you can see him. Rose looking at himself. With ears. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. Oi. Say hello. Oh, he's sniffing the camera. Always oh, thinks it's food or something. Here's my room. It's a bit dark. I don't know if you can see anything. I might turn up the curtain. See that? Now you can see my room. You can see my cat. Most importantly, you can see a handsome specimen that is me. <coughs> you know, my room no longer feels like a really overturned prison. I step on my pillow, man. You know, I remember I had recorded a video like I've been in this place for a year and it feels trapped, trapping. Not sure this is trappy, but I had a really good like tangent to myself. I said I was recording a video, right? But I wasn't recording a video. That's why I decided to turn the camera so I could instead record a video and voice my emotions there. But for the year I spent in my room, I was completely alone, completely desolate. And me, the introvert, not only the introvert, the extrovert in me. It really had that moment to grow. Let me reiterate that. I was I'm introvert at my very core. At my very very core, if but below that, I was born an introvert, and I was made an extrovert. So my how do I say this? My outermost layer is an extrovert. My innermost layer is an introvert. It's quite weird. I can turn it on and I turn it off, but. I actually genuinely prefer to turn it on. A lot of introverts that can show that they're extrovertness like to turn it on, like to turn it on, but they prefer introvertness. They like their time alone, and I would argue otherwise. It's only like very rarely. I haven't felt that thing, like that moment in time before, where like you're around too many people, and then you're always around people, and you get tired of people. I haven't felt that in a very long time. I feel very happy being around people. I feel very happy talking. I feel very happy socializing, communicating, because I'm. Um, one, not only, not, not only the loudest in the room, and if I find someone else as loud as me, I feel even happier because I think our energy is intertwined and I can just continue to talk after after again and again and again and it becomes like a huge extrovertness, energy filled fucking like, ho holy shit, we talk too much, we get on along too well, that, it's one of those things, right? It's very weird to say that I was uh, effectively a hikikomori, a uh, shut in, a neat over a year plus and my room which is now like my sanctuary for work I want to get a separation like I was saying before in the other video I want to get like a separated area like um, one of them affordable walls like Japanese affordable walls so I could set dedicate this place just for sleep and reading maybe but I think it's mostly sleep and that place for work and maybe the occasional video game but honestly I it's not even just willpower to me, you know, in the book Atomic Habits, it says make it unattractive. Make it difficult, make it unattractive, make it this, make it that. Bro, if you if you make it difficult and like you're truly addicted, you'll you'll find you'll find a way. If you're if you're addicted to porn, for example, which is a huge thing among amongst young men, is why prolactin so high I mean amongst young men. I've like to stock testosterone so high in young men. That's why for a lot of young men, I know, I know a technique, you have to like keep it in your mouth and when you think a hiccup's going to come, you just swallow it all in one go, like a, a forceful, thrustful, factory reset swallow, which allows you to just completely destroy the hiccup. I, I use the strategy every time and my body's like, yeah, no more hiccuping. So I didn't forgot to mention that you have to put your head up 
Oh my god, you hear that? And like, you guys can't hear it, obviously. But my, 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 my throat just went, like the, all the air just escaped. I kind of in my mouth with the water. And then when I think hiccups gonna come, I just forcefully swallow. Epic strat. And some doctor's gonna come along like, that's really dangerous. But I've been using it for like over three years now. And it worked every single time. I'm like, fucking hate hiccups, bro. It messes with your mood, it messes with your energy. It messes with your thought process. And most importantly, it messes with you. And imagine just trying to talk. <laughs> nah, that sucks. Not me. I used to be trapped in these walls. I call it walls because it was like a prison to me. In my own room, I, I would go downstairs a bit for food. Maybe in the living room for a bit to eat. And then you talk to my mum for a bit, but it was like embarrassing because I hadn't really gone outside, I hadn't really done anything in my life at that point. And after that I used to chill in my room all the time. I wasn't even watching porn, I was just mindlessly just scrolling social media. I wanted to get out of the good habits, I wanted to do something in my life. And maybe at some point I decided to, because I was watching a lot of Hamza videos and a lot of Andrew Tate videos, I decided to make a radical change in my life and I was about to start working out and this was during college time but I, I fell off for a bit and I, I let my physique slip but then after a while like, I decided that I wanted to, start, I wanted to get in fantastic phenomenal shape again and I started working out with no clear direction but I did start working out which is the most important thing right after that what I really wanted like a, ver a very long time like probably six months a year after that I wanted like I know I wanted to get hyped so I started doing, like now I'm starting to do a lot of jumping exercises and I've been on the pole for a while now. I actually, at my highest weight so far, my highest weight of all time is 90 kilograms. I was fat at that time. But my highest weight so far at the bulk was 77 kilograms. Now I've dropped down back to like 73, 74. Without even effort, like I don't mean to. It's just I don't eat enough and I train too much. A lot of cardiovascular activities. But that's what happens. Building up on that cardiovascular activities thing. You know, for a while, because I didn't go boxing, like, because I didn't go outside, had no school, had no responsibilities, I just had free time on my hands. I could really use that time to reflect and think about my choices so far and how they led like, me up to, to this point. And the only thing I could really think about was, like, my only social time is boxing. And that's why they used to complain. And they still do, like, they complain about me talking too much in boxing. Like, it's true, I do talk a lot. Like, I have this camera here, and I, could get, I get to talk to you, my YouTuber, my, my YouTube, my YouTube friends, oh. I get to talk to my viewers on YouTube, I get to talk to, I get to put content there. The odd occasional person that comes on my YouTube shorts, I, bro, I, I'll, I'll make a thread with them, and I'll talk to them the entire time. I'm not trying to sell a course, a coaching service, I, I just want friends. Like, it's kind of sad to hear, but I want friends in the space where, like, especially young men, perhaps young women as well, I, I don't mind. It's just, it's just rare to see, you know what I mean? I know a young woman on self improvement can often feel not necessarily disheartened, but disfran disenfranchised. Is that the right word? It can often feel disassociated. That's I think that's the right word. With a lot of young men on self improvement, like that's why I think they need to have their own communities. But then, th then their own communities on self improvement, they aren't the best communities. It's just a lot of like self, uh, how, not self like appreciating bullshit. Like, it's just a bunch of, like, self-reaffirming bullshit that a lot of women tell each other. It's either, like, women are, women are fickle, in the sense, like, you, they either really, really, how do I say this? Oh, yay, go, you, go, girl, that type of thing, right? They really, really uplifting and, you know, accepting and that type of thing, but to the point where it's, it's literally delusion. Or they're, like, really critical and they have, I fucking hate you, bitch. Or, you suck his dick, anyway. Like, you know, it's really petty. They're either really, really like bullshit, or it's really petty. Like it, it's really bullshit. Oh yeah, babe, or oh, the type of shit, or it's like it's really, really disgustingly that like asshole level, bastard level petty. And it's like it's, it's surprising to see how petty a woman can be. Can be. I'm not saying women are petty. I think a woman can be petty if the situation is right. Right. That's what. That's what. That's the biggest problem with a woman's self improvement spaces so far. And you can solve this easily. You're just being more real. And still lifting each other up, but like having that criticism there, and you know, 
don't really listen to your emotions too much. Even the women are emotional creatures. That's where like a powerful woman comes in, right? The powerful male women, they don't really listen to emotions and just move accordingly, which is like more stoic in that sense, a bit more emotionless in that sense. And some women find it that they're potentially unattractive to a man, but trust me, like there is a lot of different men out there. <laughs> some men will accept that. Some men will be annoyed. Some men will be. Don't I like girls that are a bit more shy and quiet. I think it contrasts nice to me. I do like loud girls as well that are a bit more extroverted and confident, etc. etc. But I don't trust them. I like them but I don't trust them. I don't trust them confident bitches, man. Why are you so confident? Why are you so confident? Weird. Like I like her which is a bit awkward. Which is a lot of trouble because of it, so. Like, the girls in the club. I was in a, in a club in Turkey one time, and there was like this girl in some like scantily clad dress, and then she like shared like a fucking BBL or some shit because I asked her to fake as fuck at our place, and like, you know, a big job. And she was dancing on a pole. Got up, yeah, girl! And she started dancing on a pole. And I was thinking to myself, like, Please sit that down. No one. I mean, I guess the, the super down bad guy who gets no game, gets no pussy, who's super super down bad and like he just wants to leave with a girl from the club. Yeah, yeah, he won't. He likes that, but he won't have a relationship with you. Like I don't know. I think I was in this club with some friends, family, friends, friends and family. First time we're clubbing. Never again. Maybe not until I'm like, I'm probably like, I'll tell you the truth, 22, 23. It's very far away. I like, I'm turning 18 soon, so effectively, for those two months, it's the fifth now, seventh I turn. It's the fifth, it's um, April already. What the fuck is it? Is it, is it April? Hey Siri, what month are we in? It's Wednesday, the 10th of May. May? April the 4th. May the 4th be with you. Wait, I didn't even see that event by the way. I didn't even know what happened with May the 4th. I don't, know, I don't care. It's bullshit. I got one more day deadline so I can finish my book. Oh my fuck, I'm not gonna finish it. I might, I might reach page 200 or something. I've been slacking on reading. I'm trying to retrace my thoughts. Woman self improvement How do I go from my walls feel like a prison to woman self improvement space? That's how much I talk. Like, if I didn't have. Like, in boxing gyms, in my boxing gym, they, they just keep telling me I talk too much, I talk too much. But they kind of like respect me a bit because I can box. A little bit. I'm not, I'm not that good. I admit the truth as well. I, there's a lot of room for improvement, but then again, you can always improve, right? I can't wait for my upcoming spa. I really, really want to prove myself. I think I can say I think my stamina is better, but this is how do I know? With a camera, I can, I get to like offset that extrovertness. Like I have I have a lot of energy, especially when it comes to talking. I could talk for hours straight. Only after like a three hour podcast, four hour, five hour, five hour podcast. Those type of things. I did, I did like a two hour, a two one hour, two, no, I like two two hours podcast. Back to back, I recorded them. I wasn't even that tired, I could still keep talking. But it was like already 11, so I was like, you know what, I need to sleep. And just, it, having an outlet like, Creating videos for me is like so powerful for extrovert like me. And having those quiet moments where I'm just working, I'm listening to myself, it's very, very powerful for me. I don't think like there was enough of those moments in my life so far. I wish there was more. I still have like 20, 30, 40, 50 videos on PC I need to edit. And I have like 100, 200, no 100, maybe 120, I think last time I checked. 
I think it's like a hundred videos I haven't uploaded yet and this just adds to the workload, adds to the power that I need to work through <laughs> for the YouTube, for the algo. I think I might I might use like Opus clips as well, like see what happens. But um yeah for the most part I'm just gonna just be with it. Fine with it. I used to talk a lot in boxing because that was my only like time to have social experience. I didn't really want to tell anyone as well. It's like I feel I rarely feel comfortable uncomfortable telling people things. I'm quite an open person, I'm quite an open book. And even though my life is so unique and like I've got so many experiences. <coughs> it's often unbelievable to think about the things I want to who's talking shit about me in fucking five five in the morning. Tradition, man. It's true, though. Like, I... Why are you looking at me like that, Pongy? Pongy! Mmm? That's kind of not the fuck. You only look at me when I start moving, huh? Don't... Hey, <laughs> Stewie the camera. You know, I... Uh, I'm not gonna say I get thoughts about my cat dying, bro. Kind of fucks me up. We'll, we'll talk about that. That's another video. That's another video. Like, boxing for me was my only time I could really express myself and talk to people somewhat similar to my age. And I don't really see people for their age, I see people for their personality, right? Quite an old man in that sense. And the way I carry myself. I talked to someone today, like, the way you carry yourself is much older. Like, they, someone thought I was 23. It's because I just talk to everyone. I could talk to anyone and everyone. My humour is quite universal. I can talk to people that are 30, 40, 50. I don't care. And this flexibility with people talking to people, like, it gives me so much more level of connectiveness. And like, it just makes me an introvert thrive in more. Like, I was talking to someone who's like really fucking 40, and I was talking to them like I'm their old friend, which is nuts, right, to think about. But it's the way it is. It is the way it is, for the way I am. And, if I was born any other way, if I was made any other way, then I would not want that to happen. I would not want to be made in any other way. <laughs> That's such a depressing thing, though. Like, think about that now. Like right now, like, I I don't get that huge level of loneliness. As I used to in small periods, yes, we're not before, like before. I used to a huge level of period of loneliness, and it was so crushing, like to feel that lonely, like to feel that lonely, to really like underst understand, understand. Oh shit, I'm alone. I'm all by myself. Having someone like that was crushing. crushing. Uh, and yeah, I'm, I'm talking about my lot, myself a lot here, but. I think a big huge message I can give to you as well is like don't ever ever lose hope. If you do feel lonely, the chances are you are doing actions that make you feel lonely, that are congruent to the fact that you are going to feel lonely. If you play video games for ten hours, you're going to feel lonely. Like no one's gonna be on with you for like the next ten hours. And if they do they're probably fucking like, not a good person to hang around. A spug just like you. I'm going to spend ten hours. I know this guy like I used to give him motivational speeches, focus on etc. 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 Oh, what the fuck is he doing now? What is he doing now? Just playing Valorant again. He doesn't want to play Valorant. I said, yeah, you want to play Valorant? Not really. Why do you play? Because of my friends. So change your friends. Like, don't ever lose hope. Don't ever lose that true essence of yourself. Stay true to yourself always. This guy who was saying true to himself. He's wasting precious hours, precious years of his life on a fucking video game. And then he moves on to the next video game. Then he moves on to the next video game. Then he moves on to the next video game. And I, I played Battle Run, bro. 
I played Siege. I played for Apex. I never played Fortnite. I should just trash. Uh, uh, uh. I played Minecraft. I played Roblox. I played Osu. I played Genshin Impact. I, 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 I've been there, done that, when it comes to video games. I don't see the hype. I find much more joy creating content. And even then, like, I don't really like creating Siege content. I did need 40 gigabytes on the clip for Siege. That's a few, maybe 30, 40, 50 videos. I'm not going to, bro, I'm not, I don't want it. It's not worth my time. I don't think you guys understand this. Like, it's not worth my time. To create content, I thought I was like, and I'm really liking Apex at the moment. I admit the truth. I don't like video games at all. I think it was always the time, but I'm, I'm really liking Apex. I had the urge to play. But what what urge can I have? How can an urge that I have surpass the genuine need that I have? I have a need to become rich. I have a need to create content. I have a need to edit. It's not working. How can an urge surpass that? It can't. When you have a true need, you have to do something, you need to do something, or you will do it. Above, above this, if you truly feel lonely, if you truly feel sad, if you're, if, you're, if you're stuck in your room and the walls of your room, they literally engulf you and they trap you, and your mind is occupied constantly by the fact that you're so fucking lonely, but then you go back to playing video games for the next 10 hours, you eat shit food, you don't go outside. When you after you come home from school, you don't like you're even like you rationalize that like, oh I go to school for social experience. You don't even care about the social experience. You don't even you aren't even social in school. You just sit on your phone all day. And you wonder why you're lonely. Duh. You rationalize oh yeah, school's a social experience, so I stay in school. You get mediocre grades. You don't even get a girlfriend. The, the, your crush. She has a boyfriend. She's getting dicked every night. Maybe for his girl, your cr your crush, he get he thing he gets a girlfriend. He's fucking her every night, and not you. He might get married to her, might have kids with her. And you're gonna see all that life and beautiful. I have we have three kids in a nice house, and he's super rich now. Like, uh, despite the fact that you know. Uh, women, um, men and women are the same. The emotions we feel when it comes to seeing another person that we wanted, we could have had, that go into that, the emotions are the same. They're, they're deep, they're dark, they're painful. Like men cry when they think about that. The girl that they think, men, men go into deep, dark, fucking, like, she moods when they see their crush being like, fucking with in another relationship on Facebook, for example. Or they see, or like girls, or they, they they cry. They get, I don't know about dark thoughts because I'm not a girl, right? But they do cry, they do feel sadness. We all feel sadness. But the fact remains, are we gonna do something about our sadness? Am I gonna sit here in this fucking room and just suffer in silence? No. No. Why does this room have to be my prison? My life has, has enough problems as it is. I don't want my sanctuary, my place of sleeping, of resting, to be, to be another place where I'm suffering. A lot, like, the men that tweet, uh, men, men talk about how lonely they are, and then they play video games for 10 hours, which is why I said 10 hours of video games. Yeah. You deserve it, bro. I think everyone deserves what comes to them apart from like uh, obviously like car crashes or diseases or uh, you know disabilities everyone deserves it like for most part your actions make reactions and you deserve those reactions if something happened and it, your actions led to it and it was completely conducive to that your actions were completely conducive to the event happening bro you deserve that you deserve this to happen. Have some fucking accountability, bro. Have some accountability. That's accountability. So again, three different accents, different tones. Have some accountability. Have some responsibility. It's all your fault. Everything's your fault. But that's not the, that's not that's not a bad thing though. 
It could be your fault that you're rich. It could be your fault that you're in fantastic phenomenal shape. It could be your fault that you never miss a gym session and you're really, really in shape. And people look at you like, oh my God. I'm trying to look like him. I'm trying to look like her. Wow. Bro, after hundreds of workouts, you'll get there. It's all your fault. It could be my fault that I retire my mom. It could be my fault that I get another cat because my cat's so fucking lonely, bro. He's just staring at shit. <laughs> Why are you giving me that? You understand English? Meow wants you to understand English. Oh, how do you know you're in England? You don't understand English. <laughs> Man, I need another cat or something. I was, uh, I was asking my friend if I could bring my cat along. Because my cat looks so lonely. I was just sad. I don't want him to be like me. I, I, I see him as like a little brother. Not as my son. Because I don't know what the fuck that's like. I see him as my little brother. And like, I don't want him to be lonely. What the fuck are you doing, bro? Stay in the middle. What the fuck are you looking at? <laughs> it's so cute. I, I, I kid you not, like. Terrifying. He's opened my door before as I was sleeping and then he started jumping on my bed and shit. I'm a fucking cocky, bro. How do you know? Oh, it's because of this. Can I do it? No, open the door. Open the door. Open it. Look at me. Open the door. I'll put my. Open it. He's gonna open it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna back up. Open it. Open it. Savage, what a savage. Okay, get your ass out of here. <sighs> well, I'm going to bed. Ugh, it's 5 a.m. I'm going to bed. Ugh, like shit. I'll get five hours of sleep and then after that, I don't know. I think that the world we're coming to, we're seeing a lot more lonely people. We're seeing a lot more people that are estranged. A lot more people that aren't in the best position in life. They don't really see their friends all the time. In a especially connected world, in an especially how say this communicative world, we are becoming lonely, lonelier than ever. It's weird. Like we have social media, we have Instagram, we have WhatsApp, we have all these fucking wait, WhatsApp. We have Facebook, we have Facebook, uh, old man, uh, WhatsApp, old man. Uh, I get it, guys. We have all these platforms for talking, Snapchat, etc., etc. But we still manage to be lonelier than ever. We still manage to be lonelier than ever. Like how the fuck is that possible? And with the advent of, virt of the virtual world, 
Bro, it will only get worse. And everyone, like, fucking shits on me for hating video games. And I, and I, I, t I tell the video game guys, I was all like, I'm, I'm gonna fucking play this. I'm gonna sell my PS4. What the fuck? I don't do this shit no more. I've seen guys like 30, 35, 40. They still play video games. Like, they might be the best in the fucking video game, but yeah, you're, but you're 40, bro. There's a Warframe player that I know. He's almost 40 years old. He's 37 years old. He's the oldest Warframe player I know. He's been playing for the last 10, not 15 years, I think he's that one, but he's playing for the last 10 years, roughly. He's so good at the game. He has like fucking 200 Mesa Prime sets. He sells them when they're like, he checks the market uh, for, for the economy because he's that invested in the game. When it's high up, he sells like 10, 20 sets. 2,000 platinum, 3,000 platinum. It's like a consistent cash flow for him. But what if he spent those 10 years working on the business, getting real cash flow instead of platinum cash flow? Cash, cash flow? Instead of platinum cash flow? What if we spend those years getting real cash flow instead of platinum cash flow? Instead of the virtual world and the virtual currency and how it keeps you hooked, you can spend in real life. But no, he spent it on Warframe. And like, you know what, yeah, I respect the grind because I'm a gamer, right? But I don't respect you as a person. I respect you as a gamer, but I don't respect you as a person. He's 37, he's out of shape, he's, he's fat, he smokes, he's kind of depressed, anxious, his girlfriend left him. His girlfriend's pretty cute as well, oh yeah, she's pretty, pretty cute. I remember that shit, left him. That is the world that we live in. That is the world that we live in. That is completely unfucking believable are we just supposed to live with that like that? The fuck no! Ew! No! Ew! That's disgusting! That's disgusting! That's slimy! I don't need 37 playing video games! I'm 37 to have a family, bro! This guy's this guy is single, doesn't have a family, no kids, no nothing! Think about that! Think about that. Pause this video. This is gonna be fucking here, bro. Like, oh my god, I'm gonna get so much hate, etc. Et and also, I'm gonna get something more than hate. I'm gonna get motherfuckers. I wanna get people, not in my DMs, but I'm gonna get people talking a lot of shit. And I'm gonna get, but this is a project. I don't know, I think I can milk like a fucking 15 clips from this one video alone. 15 from this one video alone. It's crazy. Because I'm making like 30 seconds for 60 seconds, 30 seconds. So yeah. That's it. Catch you guys in a bit. Peace. Man, it's my stock. I'm almost done out of there as well. Alright. Hit my feet as well. Free. So cat bed. Monitor. I'll try to stop the recording, but it's gonna stop. My chair's going through it. Bro, why are you back here? Why are you back here? Skedaddle, skedoodle. What's my setup? I got my laptop. I got my computer. I'm gonna stop walking towards it, but he's gonna run away. What? You know you're running away? Are you scared of me? Anyway, this is my setup. My chair's going through hell. I'm gonna get a new chair. <laughs> false, like, false. I sit in this chair with my clothes on. I don't know why this. Maybe it's my my body heat. I don't know. I should have got a black chair instead. These monitors. I need to fix that one. This one's okay. This one is for gaming, but I'm using it for more work these days. I got plugged in, but I I, I loaded up. But Apex had an update, and I don't play Warframe, so I didn't play it. I fixed these headphones. Hot glue. My work laptop, and this is my computer. As a setup. What the fuck, bro? What the? What the hell? Bro, it's the monster under my bed. That's the, that's it. That's the setup. It's not too, not too extravagant. I got my Chinese New Year shit. And I got my certificates. Because Asian people love. Thing. I got everything crammed here. That's my favorite coconut peanut. Coconut peanut snack. Not sponsored. Bro, one day when I'm a boxer. And I'm a millionaire. I better get sponsored by these guys. They better send me a fucking one, two, three a day. Send me a thousand a year, cause I could I could literally eat three a day, three times. I did the math in this. I could eat a thousand effectively in a year. 
if I'm eating three a day. Bro, I don't know if I could control myself with three. Like, they're so, so good. I might buy some more. Just to indulge. But I keep it there as a cluster mark. I'm getting, I'm getting like a war in mouth. I'm going to piss more here. You got to keep temptation right in front of you. You know, I just... Man, I just, I don't know. I just... I don't see the value of it. No tissues this time. Guys, I would blow my nose, but I don't want to blow my nose anymore, okay? I use water for my nose. I have the best part. Well, that's my, that's my room. This is a nice monitor. It's a 400 pound monitor. It's all for free. But I need to fix it. It's completely and utterly broken, so it's worth pennies. It's worth zero. So after I fix it, it's going to be maybe a gaming monitor, probably my work monitor. I might have switched with this. I might get like a tiny different setup for my gaming. But I, I'm kind of liking this at the moment. I don't know. Two monitors is, to me is like it's fine. I'm just chilling. I used to want. I was used to be one of those kids that wanted like a three monitor setup. But like after you get, I actually get like another monitor. You realize how much like it's TMI. It's too much, you know. So I rather not. I'll catch you guys in a bit. Peace. What the fuck? That's the second time. You wanna watch me go sleep? POV, I go sleep. Uh, I should have them more pings on this wall. I had a post, but I don't like this DC post. I think it's childish. I think I have pings on my family and like Chinese shit. Cause that's cool. That's some Vietnamese shit as well. I'm gonna put like America got smoked by Viet Vietnamese. Should I put some Korean stuff on there? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not in touch with my Korean side. I don't care though. I don't. Really, I don't care about Koreans. MTS war potential moves like I don't know. Like one, two, three, four, five, six. No, no that's insane. One, two, three. Three big pay posters. One, two, two posters there. Maybe I could get like a pop up TV. No, that's too, that's TMI. That's too much. They got that dog in him. Why am I? Ah, oh, I'm actually falling asleep. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.